All right, in this video, we're gonna really hone in on four numbers, four sets of numbers, four parameters. We're gonna look at the sway of both the upper body and the lower body and the rotation of the upper body and the lower body. So those four numbers is what this video is all about. And our first uh, golfer here is a former long drive champion, one of the longest drivers, certainly pound for pound, that's ever been around. And the reason we're using him in this video is he's often kind of considered as a really good example of what massive amounts of rotation looks like without any slide or lateral motion towards the target. So let's take a look at this golfer and just see exactly what happens. So all these golfers, the gear system measures everything from zero, zero at the start of the golf swing with regard to lateral motion, slide to and from, away from and towards the target. So this golfer gets going, a massive lateral move right off the ball. So a lot of hip slide, a lot of upper body slide right off the ball and he maxes out at three and a half inches of upper body slide off the ball and 2.6 inches of lower body slide off the ball. Now we're gonna scroll him forward. We're gonna see where he winds up at impact. So we've got impact, he's plus two inches now. So that's a, that's a net of 4.6 inches of forward slide towards the target from where he maxed out at in the backswing to where he finished at impact and then minus 2.3 inches. That's, I believe, a net of 1.1 inch of upper body slide towards the target. Now his rotation is 49, we'll call it 50 degrees with the lower body, and we'll call it 36 degrees with the upper body. So total four and a half, 4.6 inches of forward slide with the lower body. Again, this is a guy that many consider not to have any forward rotation. Um, slide or sway or shifting or whatever in the golf swing. And we see his rotate rotational numbers um, attached to those slide numbers. Now let's take a look at one of our touring pros. So we're going to see similar but different ways of getting there from this player. So a move off the ball, very common, but a lot less, about half the amount uh, than we saw from our long drive champ. So we're gonna max out very early with our sway off the golf ball. We're gonna go minus 1.8 inches with the upper body and minus 1.2 inches with the lower body, but it really happens very early in his backswing. Now the rest of his backswing is gonna be kind of shifting himself, falling himself forward. So we're in plus numbers now right here with both the upper and lower body. And we're gonna scroll him forward to impact. And we see he's now three and a half inches farther forward with his hips from where he started and 0.4 inches forward with his upper body. So that nets out, if you're keeping score at home, that nets out with a 4.7 inch slide forward with his lower body. Again, our long drive guy was 4.6. And that nets out at 2.2 inches of forward slide with his upper body. So twice as much as our long drive guy did with the upper body and his rotational numbers are significant. They're 62 degrees open with his torso, well, excuse me, with his pelvis, and 51 degrees open with his torso. So he had more lateral slide and was more open than our long drive champ. He just did it in a different way and certainly with a different timing. Now let's scroll through and look at a few more examples. We're just gonna show impact numbers here. This is another professional golfer. 5.1 inches forward with his lower body, 3.3 inches forward with his upper body. So this player demonstrated more slide towards the target than both our previous pro and our long drive champ and has more rotation than our long drive champ at, we'll call it 55 and 41 degrees. Significant amounts of rotation from significant amounts, or I should say while having significant amounts of lateral motion. Now if we scroll to another one, we're gonna see 6.6 .6 inches forward with the lower body, 2.4 inches forward with the upper body, and we're looking at basically 36 and 38 degrees of rotation. So very similar rotational numbers between the upper and the lower, but much different sway numbers. And we're gonna look at another professional 
Again, 47 degrees open with the lower body, 38 with the upper body, five and a half forward, three and a half forward. So again, we're looking at a lot of forward motion and a lot of rotation. And then let's look at an amateur golfer that we had come in. This was his after. We got him moving more forward, so three inches forward than he was at address and still demonstrates a lot of rotation, 45 degrees and 33 degrees. So quite a big number on the rotation scale and a lot more lateral motion than most golfers realize. So we'll go ahead and say that it is a complete myth to say that if you move laterally forward, laterally forward towards the target, slide, whatever you want to call it, in the golf swing, or away from it for that matter, as we're seeing here, you are going to have difficulty rotating. That's not true. Now, what is true is when you do that lateral motion can create significant problems for the rotation. The earlier the slide, the earlier the lateral motion, when the club's doing very little, the better off you'll be when doing that. And that's a whole nother video in itself because it really starts to have an effect. Your rotational numbers are really influenced by where the golf club is. And it's either gonna accentuate the rotation or it's really gonna hinder your rotation. And all of those things, nothing happens in a vacuum, but all of those things happen in tandem. But let's just take it off the table. Lateral motion towards the target in the golf swing does not stall rotation.